Oh, good morning to you. Yes, sir. Jesus is Lord. Yes, sir. The Word works. But you know you need to just spend some time in the Word, find out how to work it. I'm going to start a little series today on casting your care over on God. Quit worrying. You don't have to worry. God's got this thing in control, and God is not a man that he should lie. Now, you know Mark chapter 4. Jesus said, what things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them. I'm going to add, when you pray. And if you believe that you receive them when you pray, well, then you can quit worrying about it because God's got it in control. Now, somebody take that to say, well, you know, God's got everything in control. No, he gave you the choice. Now, he's got everything in control, but you have the choice as to whether you receive what he said or not. <clears throat> There's not this old teaching of the sovereignty of God that everything's worked out. And, you know, when you fall and break your leg, say, well, thank God. God knew about that. And so, no, 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 no. God said, choose life. I've said before you, life and death. Choose life. Well, I'm going to choose the blessings, and I'm a blessed Oh, dear Lord, I am a blessed, blessed, healed, prosperous, happy, uh, fortunate man because I've chosen to go to work. So when I pray, I believe I receive and I don't have to be concerned about it anymore because God has heard my prayer, answered my prayer, and the answer is on its way. So I want to go over here to the Gospel of Luke chapter 10 and read a couple of verses to you about somebody that's done a lot like you know, uh, a lot of the rest believers that I know, the, the church is full of worries, worry warders. I mean, they just worry all the time. And they think if they worry wart God, God will finally give in and bless them. No. So watch this. <clears throat> Jesus um, <clears throat> is going into different places. Verse 38, he came into a certain village and a certain woman named Martha to receive, she received him into her house. Now watch this. She received him. See, you can receive him and yet not even know he's there. And she had a sister called Mary, which sat at Jesus' feet and heard the word. We'll come back to that probably tomorrow. But Martha was cumbered about much serving and came to him and said, Lord, don't you care? She was so under the care and the worry of what she had to do that she went to Jesus and said, don't you care? Hey, <clears throat> I know people like that. Now, Jesus showed up with his disciples. Could have been just him and 12. Could have been him and 70 plus 12. And she's got to serve them. She takes the care. She's worried about it. Now, she couldn't go open a bag of tater chips and make some dip and throw it on the table. I mean, they had to cook, you know, over an open fire, whatever they did. And so she's concerned about, how am I going to feed this crowd? But here's what she forgot. She forgot that the supplier was there. She forgot that the multiplier of seed sown was there. She forgot that the one that multiplied the fishes and the loaves was there. She could have taken that little pot of beans, thrown it on a plate, said, here, bless this, multiply this. She forgot that she was in the presence of Almighty God. He was in her house, and she's taken the care, and Jesus noted it and said, Martha, Martha, thou art cared about many things. She was a worry warder. <laughs> That's a southern term, worry wart. You know, and I think some people are just going to worry wart God until they uh, think they break him down under their worrying pressure and he gives in. Oh, no, no. Faith and worry do not go together. You can have one or the other, but you can't have both. It's kind of like oil and vinegar. You can shake that bottle up and it'll mix for a little bit, but it's not going to stay together. Well, listen. Faith and worry is not of the same spirit. You're either going to be of the spirit of God and the spirit of the word, or you're going to be under the spirit of worry and doubt and unbelief. And the choice is yours. So see, Martha has this problem. I'm worried about what am I going to do? And my sister don't care. Have you ever noticed that a person that worries a lot wants you to worry with them? You call them on the telephone, you know, and you say, how you doing? Well, under the circumstances, I'm okay. You know, we're having a hard time, and I don't know how I'm going to pay these bills. Dear God, you don't need to tell other people your worries. You've answered the phone. Hello, how are you? Man, I'm blessed. Now, now watch this. Somebody called me the other day, a friend of mine. Uh, brother, how are you? I said, I'm blessed. I mean, you know, I still got my teeth. All of them. Got my hair. I got a good job. I got a good God. I got my original wife. I'm blessed. He said, I want to know how it really is. I said, I'm blessed. I'm healed. 
I got my teeth, got my hair, got a good job. God loves me. Got my original wife. All my kids are serving God. I'm a blessed man. No, brother, I want to know how it really is down there in the South. Well, it's hot. Good day to preach on hell. But other than that, I'm blessed. Say good things. Not what you're worried about. Got to get out of here. Saints, we'll come back to this tomorrow. Have a great day. Until I'm with you tomorrow, remember all day. Hey, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.